Unit 6 Matter and Materials Chapter 11 Matter and Materials Important Terms Texture Structure Definite Sure Stirring To shake vigorously Soda And aerated water Volume Amount of space used by an object Iodine An element whose solution is used to treat wounds We find many objects around us they are different from one another in terms of shape, size, color, and texture. Every object has true properties in common. All these objects occupy some space. Your computer takes up space on the desk. You take up space on the chair. The amount of space occupied by an object is called its volume. All objects have weight. Matter Object that occupies space and has weight is called matter. Everything around us is made up of matter. Our book and pencil is made up of matter. Our body is also made up of matter. Matter is made of tiny particles known as atoms. Some matters like gold, platinum and carbon are able to exist alone. This means that they do not combine with any other atoms. However, some atoms are so active that are usually combined with other atoms of the same kind to form a molecule. The atoms of hydrogen, oxygen and chlorine combine to form the molecule of hydrogen, oxygen and chlorine respectively. Matter can also be formed from molecules containing different atoms. For example, water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Two atoms of hydrogen plus one atom of oxygen gives one molecule of water. It has the same molecular structure whether it is a solid, liquid or gas. States of Matter There are three different states of matter. The book you are reading is different from the water you drink or the air you breathe. Everything is made from particles called atoms and molecules. The properties of an object depend upon the arrangement of particles present in it. Solid In a solid, particles are arranged in a regular pattern touching each other. They attract one another with strong forces, hence, solids are quite strong. Solids do not flow. They have definite shapes and volume. Books, clothes, vehicles, etc. are solid. Liquid. The particles are close one another, but they do not necessarily touch one another. They are arranged in a random pattern. The attractive forces in between these particles are not as strong as they are in solids. These of particles move in all directions, changing places all the time. Liquids can flow easily. They take up the shape of the container in which they are kept. Water and milk are liquids. Factoscope Liquids can flow easily and are called fluids. Gas The particles are loosely spread out. They are not arranged in any pattern. The attractive forces are very small. The particles keep changing their places all the time. Gases spread out quickly to fill the space available to them. The smell of perfume and deodorant spreads out once they are out of the spray bottle. Change of state of water Water can exist in more than one form. It exists in three different forms, solid, liquid and gas. Liquid water can be seen when it rains or running down a river. Pure liquid water is free of salt, rock soil and garbage. Ice, snow and frost are the examples of water in the solid state. Liquid water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. Water evaporates to turn into the gaseous state. We cannot see a gas but sometimes we can feel and smell a few of them. Keep a wet cloth in the sun for some time. The water from the clothes evaporates due to the heat of the sun. Liquid water, solid water, ice, water vapor. Phase change. Water changes from one state to another. The change of water from solid to liquid and then to gas or in reverse direction is called phase change. Melting, freezing, condensation and evaporation are part of the process of phase change. The phase of a substance depends on temperature and pressure. Ice, melting, freezing, water, boiling, condensation, vapor. 
Liquid water changes to solid ice at temperature below 0 degrees Celsius. This process is called freezing. When ice is heated, it changes into water. This process is called melting. When water is boiled at high temperature, it gets changed into water vapor. This process is called evaporation. When water vapor changes into water on cooling, it is called condensation. Solid iodine Heat Vapor When solid iodine is heated up, the purple colored fumes of iodine are observed. The process by which solid directly gets turned into the gaseous form on heating is called sublimation. Change in the state of water Solution When sugar is stirred in water, it gets dissolved. Here, sugar is said to be soluble in water. When a solid gets dissolved in a liquid, it forms a solution. Sugar in this case is a solute and water is a solvent. The substance which gets dissolved is called a solute. The substance in which a solute is dissolved is called a solvent. The solute and solvent together form a solution. Solid liquid solution. Sugar is a solid and water is a liquid. When a solid sugar is dissolved in a liquid water to form a solution, it is called solid in liquid solution. The level of water in the beginning and at the end of the activity remains the same. This is because sugar molecules do not take up any extra space but take up the spaces between the water molecules. An eraser is insoluble in water. It takes up some space. So, there is a rise in the level of water in the measuring jar when an eraser is put into it. Liquid liquid solution. When milk is added to water initially, milk spreads slowly throughout the water. You can see it spreading. After spreading, the color spreads uniformly. This is because milk is completely soluble in water. Here, both water and milk are liquids. Hence, the solution is called liquid in liquid solution. Gas liquid solution. When you open a soda bottle, you will observe bubbles of gas coming out of the soda. These are bubbles of a gas called carbon dioxide. This shows that soda is a liquid which a gas carbon dioxide has been dissolved. Hence, it is an example of gas and liquid solution. Teachers note. Explain more about the molecules and how they affect the weight of any object. Give examples of iron and wood. Fact 5. 1. The smallest particles of an element have the same properties as that of an element. 2. There are about 90 naturally existing elements and scientists have been able to invent about 26 more. Thus, there are 116 elements that have been discovered so far. Let's summarize. 1. Anything that occupies space and has weight is called matter. 2. Matter is made up of atoms. 3. Atoms combine together to form molecules. 4. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid and gas. 5. Matter can be changed from one form to another by heating or cooling. 6. Some solids get dissolved in liquids. 7. Some liquids get dissolved in other liquids.